Brought to you by wikivd.com Kelly Jones Kelly Jones is a Welsh singer-songwriter, guitarist and director, and the lead singer of the band Stereophonics. Influenced by classic rock bands such as Pink Floyd, The Who Led Zeppelin ACDC and Sex Pistols, Jones is noted for his raspy voice, which has been described as whiskey and has drawn criticism as well as acclaim. As a lyricist, Jones is influenced by Neil Young, Bob Catley, Bob Dylan and Otis Redding. Early Life and D.E. Acute B.U.T. Jones lived in the village of Kamaman near Aberdeer where he became friends with neighbours Stuart Cable and Richard Jones and they formed a covers band together, showing a talent for writing in his youth he considered being a scriptwriter before being a musician and studied film at college. The BBC showed an interest in some of his early work but, as the band progressed from a cover band to writing their original material he decided to use his narrative side more towards writing lyrics. Jones also flirted with the idea of boxing as a career and was a successful boxer at youth level. Much of his early life is documented in Stereophonic's debut album including his account of his teen years on a market stall. These are documented in More Life in a Tramp's Vest from Stereophonic's first album released in 1997 Word Gets Around. In 1999 Stereophonic's were the first band to be signed to Richard Branson's new Virgin Records label V2. Their debut EP Looks Like Chaplin did not have enough copies made to enter the charts and their next single Local Boy in the Photograph was one place shy of making the UK Top 50. However, their debut LP Word Gets Around did make it to number 6 on the UK Albums Chart. Fellow Welsh band Manic Street Preachers put the band as support on the 1996-97 tour. Mainstream Success 1998 Present in February 1998 they received a Brit Award for Best New Group. The same week as a reissue of Local Boy in the Photograph made number 14 in the charts. And their first album went gold in the UK selling over 100,000 copies. During that year Stereophonics had tours in Europe, Australia and the US. They performed a concert on 12 June 1998 at Cardiff Castle. They performed a cover of the Randy Newman song Mama Told Me Not To Come With Tom Jones for his album Reload. After another tour they re-entered the studios and recorded just enough education to perform containing the single Mr. Writer and Have A Nice Day and Step On My Old Size Nines, a cover of Rod Stewart's version of Mike Diabo's song Handbags, to later editions of the album. They also recorded their biggest audience to date when they played 280,000 in Slane Castle in Ireland and ending with a Christmas show at the Millennium Stadium. Cardiff supported by Feeder and Ocean Colour Scene who they had supported years before. They released their fourth studio album You Gotta Go There to Come Back with songs like Maybe Tomorrow and Madam Helga, and a reworked song that had not been completed in Time Movie Star. They reissued the album, with this track included. In 2002 the band was chosen as a support act for Counting Crows, and toured on various UK dates with the band. Subsequently Jones would join the band on stage and perform Mr. Jones and Hangina around alongside Adam Juritz. In 2003 whilst on tour in Germany, drummer Stuart Cable who by this time had his own television chat show on BBC Wales was sacked from the band by Jones citing problems over commitment. Cable was replaced temporarily on the remainder of the tour by Black Crows drummer Steve Gorman. According to Stuart I kept plugging away. I knew when we started we weren't very good, and I was waiting for it to get better. 
It was becoming obvious that wasn't going to happen, and I said so. Kelly didn't like that. Stereophonic's fifth studio album Language, Sex, Violence, Other, was released in March 2005. This marked their first recording with new drummer Javier Whaler, the band's former studio engineer, whom they had made permanent in the band after asking him to fill in on the drums for some early LSVO recordings. The band had their first number one hit in the UK singles chart, with the album's first release, The Upbeat Dakota, in which Kelly spent much of the video driving in dark sunglasses. The second single, from the album Superman, peaked at number 13 in the UK charts. After this release came Devil, which was promoted by a controversial video reaching number 11 in the charts. In January 2005, Kelly Jones performed a solo set at the Tsunami Relief Cardiff charity concert. At the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, the biggest live music charity concert since 1985's Live Aid, which also featured artists such as Eric Clapton. On the 2nd of July 2005, the group took a break from their sold out world tour and appeared at the Live Aid concert in Hyde Park, London, performing to 240,000 people, their biggest audience yet. Stereophonics did not resurface until later the following year where they began recording for the sixth studio album Pulled the Pin which was released on 15 October 2007. Pull the Pin is an album that returns to the band's classic rock roots evident in the first album, and the influence of 1970s rock can be heard in numerous tracks. Equipment Jones uses British style amps including models by Matchless and Bad Cat as well as the Vox AC30. He uses limited FX pedals, but in solos he has used a Dunlop Crybaby Wah. He also uses Boss effects pedals, including a chorus delay flange phaser and various distortion pedals. Although he is gradually relying on distortion pedals less and just using amp switching pedals using the built-in crunch and clean settings, mainly using his AC30 for clean work and his other two amps for distortion. His main guitar is a Cherry Red Gibson SG now widely known as the Kelly Caster. Jones also occasionally uses a Gibson CS336 and a Fender Stratocaster. His Fender Jaguar was used extensively on language sex violence other, and has been used on occasion while touring. Jones owns a Telecaster-style guitar built by Manson Guitars. He is also known to use a gold-top Gibson Les Paul occasionally, especially on heavier tracks such as Bartender and The Thief and Vegas two times. His acoustic guitar of choice is a Gibson J200 and he is rarely seen using anything else, although he owns various other Gibsons and Takamines. Controversy Jones has always had a troubled relationship with the media and they have often criticized him, his contribution to music and his vocal abilities. Jones has generated headlines several times by criticizing other musical artists most notably Radiohead frontman and solo artist Tom York. Jones criticized York's attitude in a 2002 interview due to what he felt was complaining about touring on Radiohead's 1998 home video release. Meeting people is easy. He said, we can all relate to that video you know having to do a hundred fucking idents for radio stations but that doesn't mean you've got to walk around and be a miserable twat to everybody, which is what Tom York is mostly. He later expressed regret for this comment since he was in fact a fan of York. Jones is known for his cynical view of manufactured pop and has also criticized reality shows such as pop stars and The X Factor as well as manufactured bands such as Hearsy. Other projects 
In 2007 Kelly Jones released his first solo album Only the Names Have Been Changed as a limited edition which managed to reach number one on the iTunes download chart. He explained, We were recording the sixth Stereophonics album last year, and in between takes I started doing these songs off the cuff. Three or four tracks in. I realized that this could actually be something strange how it's always little things that makes big things happen. This created speculation that Jones would leave Stereophonics to pursue his solo career however he denied this. Personal life Kelly Jones was born youngest of three boys for Beryl and Arwen Jones in the small Welsh ex-mining village of Kamaman spending his childhood with them and his two older brothers Kevin and Lee. Both of his parents worked in factories. However, his father also found time to coach youth football and pursue his own singing career. The name of Arwen's backing band Oscar and the Kingfishes earned him the nickname of Oscar among friends and family. He went on to secure a record deal with Polydor who renamed him Arwen Davidson due to the sheer number of Joneses in the music business at the time. Despite making multiple recordings sharing the Hollies manager and supporting slots, with the likes of Roy Orbison Arwen had minimal mainstream success, and only released a few singles. During Jones' youth his uncle, a boxing referee, got him interested in the sport and he later competed at a high level in South Wales. Following this Jones moved on to football where he played for his county. Jones is known for his preference of wearing vintage clothing and owns at least 20 leather jackets. Jones met his first girlfriend Emma Dunn a hairdresser at the age of 15. They stayed together for almost 12 years and just before they split up they had become engaged. In 2002 Jones went to Julian Castaldi's home kick down his front door smash his window with a brick and then vandalized his two cars with a scaffolding pole whilst under the influence of alcohol. This was because Jones had recently discovered that Castaldi was courting Dan. Four weeks after they had ended the long-term relationship, Castaldi called the police, and consequently Jones was arrested. However Castaldi did not press charges leaving Kelly Jones, with a £2,000 fine for damages. Jones commented that what I did was completely out of character, but what he did was wrong later writing the song Rainbows and Pots of Gold in response to the event. After splitting from Dunn Jones dated an interior designer Rebecca Walters. In October 2004 Rebecca and Kelly had their first child together Lolita Bootsy Jones. In January 2007 they had another daughter called Misty Jones. Rebecca and Kelly split shortly after the birth of Misty. He is now married to MTV journalist Jackie Healy. After tying the knot in late 2013 and they have one daughter called Riley. They have been together since 2008. Unlike numerous musicians and entertainers Jones and his family have a low profile in tabloid media coverage. Stuart Cable claimed that it was differences between his then-partner Lisa Rogers and Kelly Jones' partner Rebecca Walters at the time which violently came to a head publicly at a restaurant in Paris eventually leading to his sacking by Jones after he made a sarcastic joke about the incident the following day. Although Cable was reportedly missing many concerts as he was in a cocaine clinic Kelly Jones and Cable patched up their differences a year after they split being in regular contact for the five years prior to Cable's death and even performing on stage with bass player Richard Jones at a long-serving Stereophonics crew member and mutual friend's wedding. Both Cable and Jones were due to meet for a drink on the day of Cable's death which was also the day after Stereophonics played their highly anticipated Cardiff Stadium gig. Brought to you by Wikivd.com 
Would you like to know more?